What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Molt Man episode. Today we are going to do a little fishing, but before we go fishing, I want to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, and that is Olight. Once again, y'all have heard me talk about Olight many times before. They're a great company, and I absolutely love their light. You cannot go wrong getting quality lights. So today we are going to be talking about the Warrior X Turbo. Like I said in the past, their packaging is top of the line. Open this guy up and uh, show you what it looks like inside. Everything comes with instructions right on the top. I like my little lights. I know what to do as soon as I open the box. Got instructions. This one actually comes with a pouch as well. Um, you can put this on your hip. You can tie it to your belt or you can put it on a backpack. Uh, put it on your hunting pack. Pull this light out. And this is the limited edition uh, desert tan. So obviously peel that off the lens and then most of our lights you have to unscrew. Uh, the back of it and pull this little tab off of the rechargeable batteries that are in it. So my favorite thing about Olight is the magnetic chargers. Um, it'll come in the little case that is in the box as well along with a uh, little wrist strap that you can put on the light. So this magnetic charger, this plugs right into your block and then this just snaps on the back and it begins charging. It's got a little red and green light. When it's red, it means it's not fully charged and it is charging. When it's green, it means it's fully charged and you are ready to go. Every light that I received from Olight has come charged, so yep, it is charged and this thing is bright. Warrior X Turbo has a beam distance of a thousand meter throw. This light is ideal for hunting, uh, search and rescue. It's super compact. Uh, fit in your pack no problem and it comes with the holster that you can either put on your backpack or your side so This light comes with a 21,700 rechargeable lithium-ion battery um, 5,000 mAh with a 3.6 volts. This light also comes with the upgraded tail cap which is compatible with the Odin remote switch and this is the limited edition 6,000 PCS desert tan color so another awesome light I want to show you guys is the Warrior Mini. Super, super compact light that you can fit anywhere. Throw it in your pack, throw it in your wife's car. Um, I actually put one of these in my wife's car just so she has a light. Super bright light, super compact. Just like all their other lights, magnetic charger, just like that. Throw it on the wall and she's good to go. So today on December 13th uh, at 1159 p.m. they are doing a flash sale all the way to December 17th. So in this time period, you can save up to 40% off site-wide. Um, and like I've said in the past, that is ridiculous. That is a ridiculous sale. Um, that is super hard to find 40% off anywhere, especially off of these high quality products that they have. So please do me a huge favor. Click the link in the description. Save some money on some quality lights. And uh, if you order fast enough, you may be able to get it before Christmas. So go down there, check them out. They're an awesome company. And huge thanks to Olight for sponsoring this video. Now let's go fishing and uh, have some fun. Ooh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back down here at the coast once again. We uh, came down here to to uh, look at boats, and I think we scored. I think we uh, we got some good news, but I can't tell y'all about that quite yet. We're taking the baby cat out this morning. We're meeting up with our buddy Travis, and uh, we're gonna do a little wade fishing. We're gonna go try to catch some trout, some reds, and we got, did you get that shrimp? Did you get the shrimp? No. Taking some frozen shrimp, just in case we get into some sheep's head or some drum. So, we got a big bag of them and a small bag. Take the scraps. So we're headed to the boat ramp. We're gonna see if we can't go catch some fish. Got about a 10 mile an hour wind, but should be pretty nice out there. It's not bad, not too overcast. Got about a 10 mile an hour wind, so should be a good day. See you guys on the way. seem to be the last one to get in the water having to deal with cameras but here we go throwing soft plastics I'm throwing gulp the uh, white and pink tail shrimp so we can get out there hopefully catch some trout we're at 
Is it a hole? Got him. Be a keeper, man. Oh, yeah, it is. Go, baby. On the board. Travis is hooked up. Keeper. Good fish. Oh, I just got hit. Before I set the hook. He's just swimming straight at me. Look at him. He's just darting towards me. Yeah, it is. That's a big trout, son. Man, I wish I had a net. Pretty, pretty fish. My favorite eating too. Other than flounder, I'd rather eat trout over reds. Boy, it's a good fish, huh? You got that oyster fish. What you got, a red? Golly, that's gotta be a red. Big old redfish? What do you think you have? 40 inch trout state record. Dude, he is peeling line. Sheesh. We need a net for this one. Your state record. Do not let that fish get off. Dude. <laughs> Oh, dude, giant red. Yeah, look at that. Well guys, I just caught another one and Travis just caught a jumbo, but uh, my GoPro turned off for some reason. I don't know what was going on, but I got three keepers, Travis has two, and my dad lost his one. Yes sir, number four. Man, they're swimming at me today. Oh, a little red. Nice little pretty dots on them. Only got one on that side.
There we go. Double. Hey, my reel is starting to grind. Oh, look at him. Not a double. You got a guide. You ain't no guide. Redfish? Big trout. Golly, dude, that's a huge, huh? Dude, that is a huge trout. You got two jumbos. Rod in the water. Did it get in the water? Yep. Yeah. Dude, that's a big old trout. Show them that other big trout you got. That is awesome. Old school stringer. Heck yeah. We got other big trout. Two two twenty inches. I don't know, that last one you just caught was fat. Another big one, huh? Some big trout in these waters. Oh you're fishing with a Hard lure, huh? Yeah, double Good fish. This might be a red. No, I think it's a trout. I think it's a big trout. Double. A real double this time. Big old trout. Yes, sir. Yeah. Huh? You got a jumbo? Oh, jeez. Two big ones. Look at that. Right here. God, that's a big trout, dude. Last cast. Well, I got four, Travis has his limit, and my dad had two. But now he only has one because he let one go. So, last cast, we're gonna go uh, scout for some ducks and then call it a morning. All right, guys, we made it back. We caught some absolute jumbos this morning. That's a big trout, so. Clean these guys up. We gotta head back home today, so trying to keep it clean. These trout, you can just go right through those rib bones down to the tail, pop it off like that. You can run your knife. Run your knife between that skin and meat. Trout are kind of tricky. A lot of times you'll miss some of that skin on the fillet like that. There's that hole in there, but it's easy. You can just come in here and trim that piece back or you can just bag it like it is and clean it whenever you uh, get ready to cook it. So beautiful trout fillet. Take these ribs out. And that is all delicious meat. Do one more side real quick. Guys, if you're ever down here in Rock Fort, hit up Travis. He's an awesome guy and he puts you on the fish. We just go as friends now. Um, made friends with him, but he is a good guy to go with. I will leave his link in the description. Um, so if y'all ever make it down here, y'all go check him out. He's pretty booked, so make sure you call ahead of time before you come down if you do want to go fishing with him. And uh, I can pretty much guarantee he's going to put you on some kind of fish. So there's our trout fillets. We're going to take some of these home tonight. And uh, we got to come up with a new recipe because we've done a lot of different recipes with 
trout down here be? So y'all leave it in the comments what y'all think I should cook. How y'all think I should cook these trout. And I will do it on the next time. Another thing, I am selling my Mayak. Um, disclaimer, if you haven't seen the past video, there's a 18, about an 18 inch crack in the hole. So if you're a fiberglass guy, or you know somebody that can do it, or you think you can fix it yourself, email me. My email is linked in the description, stlknoutdoors at gmail.com. Y'all go email me, I'll shoot you a price. Um, if y'all are serious about it, then y'all can email me. If not, I've been getting hundreds of DMs on Instagram, um, so I don't want to go through all those. I want to knock out the people that are actually serious about buying it. Y'all can email me in the link below. Um, it's a great motor. The motor runs great. Y'all seen it in every video. Other than the crack in the hole, um, it's a great boat. So, it's going home, and it needs a new home. So I'll throw this out there too. If somebody buys this boat, if we make a deal, we'll go on a fishing trip down here in Rockport. Y'all can come down here and I'll take y'all fishing. Um, we'll take the old baby cat out and go do a little trout and red fishing down here. So, like I said, y'all drop it in the email. All right, I am back at the Casa and it is lunchtime. We're starving, it's actually past lunchtime. You can see Angel's baking. We got a trip coming up. And little man just hanging out. So we're gonna cook some fish tacos for lunch, corn tortillas, and I'm gonna do a little spin on it. We're gonna do some coconut flakes mixed in with the panko breadcrumbs. But first, I wanna get these fish fillets right. I like to make nice little um, taco sized pieces of fish. Kinda cut them off with the, the little pointy end. Just makes little fish fingers kinda. Just like that. And before we put it into anything, we're gonna season it with some Critter Glitter Fish and Fowl. My seasoning, if y'all want some, go check it out. We are running low from Christmas order, from Christmas orders. So if y'all want some, go check it out, mulletman.net, linked in the description box. But we are gonna season this fish up pretty good um, before we Roll it around in the breadcrumbs. That way the fish itself is actually seasoned. Good, just like that. Now what we're gonna do, I just went out to the chicken coop and got two eggs. These are small eggs from my small chickens. And uh, we're gonna do half and half panko breadcrumbs and coconut. See about that much panko. Open this bag. And mix in some. Now these are the organic um, coconut flakes, and they seem to be super. They're unsweetened as well, but they seem to seem to be a lot more dry than like the sugar added coconut flakes. So I think this is going to work out a lot better. So that's it. Coconut and breadcrumbs. I'm going to go straight to the egg wash from the egg wash to the panko coconut mixture. He wants some over there. And then we'll put these on a paper plate until the oil is hot enough. We're using Texana Brands cottonseed oil. Y'all heard me say it in the past, but I think it's the best thing to fry fish in. It's super clean and tastes amazing. So we get the rest of these all battered up and then we'll throw them in the grease. guys last couple pieces we'll go ahead and start throwing them in a little hot breadcrumbs and um, coconut flakes burn really easily so they're already turning brown so you don't want your oil super super hot um, but you want it hot enough to cook it Now 
All right, got that oil out of there. Heat up some corn tortillas. Then we're gonna do fish. Got some coleslaw. J. Leroy's seafood sauce. I got the barbecue sauce, and the barbecue sauce is amazing. And uh, I just opened this and tried it on a piece of fish, and it's amazing too. It's a lot more sweet than your normal um, cocktail sauce, but it has like a hint of cocktail sauce slash, I don't know, but it's really good. So that's how I'm gonna do my combo, but heat up some of these tortillas. All right, take a tortilla. We'll take a couple of strips of fish that didn't just come off, so I don't burn my mouth off. Now, before we put the coleslaw on, I'm gonna do a little drizzle of this stuff right here. Some of that, then we'll put the coleslaw on top. Here we go. One out of 10, fried trout, panko breadcrumbs, and coconut shavings. Let's see what it tastes like. Super good. One more time. We'll go 9-3. Uh, for this. It's not my favorite way to eat trout, but it's like the perfect, it's like a summer time on the dock, cookout, at the beach, something like that. This tastes like summertime. I don't know why, but it's delicious. And it's December and it just, the timing doesn't feel right. But, very delicious. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Got some super, super cool news. Um, I don't know when I can tell y'all yet, but stay tuned, because there's some super cool stuff coming, but hope you enjoyed it. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Hope you all have a great Christmas season. Hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.